No, no, first day of practice, official day for us, went, went good. These guys have been working hard this fall so far and, and kind of on their own. But today, finally, you know, coaches can put them through, you know, verbally put them through. They did a great job, probably the best uh, job of, of first day of practice since I've been here. But like, but like I taught these guys, it's not the first day, it's, hey, what, what happens two months from now? If we've got that same intensity, that's what you got to keep. Us, you got to keep that intensity all the whole, whole, whole workout. Uh, it went great, you know, good, it feels good to get back out there and uh, have like structured practice. We've been doing a lot of uh, unstructured, you know, where we go on our own and push ourselves, but it's, uh, it's always good to have Z pushing you through uh, practice. Um, it was good, you know, it's the first practice, you know, it's not, it's not how you begin, it's how you finish, you know, so that's how I think about it. This is a, a younger team. We have a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors. So pretty much everyone that's on the team this year is going to be on the team this year and the next couple of years. So, you know, we're looking at a tough team. You know, the big experience is you're working on more skills. You know, at the beginning of practice, you're working on some skills. And, you know, and, and towards the more towards the end of, end, end of the uh, season, it's, it's the workouts a little bit shorter. You know, a little more intense. The periods are shorter. But, uh, you know, these guys had good intensity today. You know, just changing things around, you know. Obviously, what we were doing last year wasn't the right thing. So, you know, we're making changes. Coaches are making changes. We're making changes. Um, you know, I, I think we need more practices, more workouts, you know, put an extra time. And I've noticed that a lot, you know, over the summer and spring and stuff. A lot of guys coming in and really, really want it. You know, you got to want it. Well, I think it's exciting to new guys. You know, who's going to step in at 49 for Sakaguchi? Who's going to step in at uh, 57 for, uh, you know, RJ Pena? You know, the two guys that were all Americans in the past that we lost. You know, who's going to step in at those way? And then another you know, guy's coming back. You know, the guys that were at the NCAA tournament last year, like Palmer, you know, Delgado, Latham, you know, Meeks, you know, uh, Desi. How did they use the summer, spring and summer to, you know, they're disappointed. So how do they use that uh, disappointment from last year to get better for this year? You know, right now you have longer goes. Towards the end of the season, you want to have short, explosive goes, you know, because the match is only six minutes. You know, you're not going two hours, two hour and a half hour, uh, you know, goes. You know, it's just six minute goes. So, you know, the longer you can, con you know, the shorter you can condense one practice, the more you're going to get out of it in the match. I expect big things out of Ummer. You know, he's a big guy. Last year he made it to NCAAs, you know, he, he won a couple matches, you know. He's been working hard this summer, so I could see him as improving, you know, and being a national champ. You know, hey, we're all shooting for the top. You know, you got to shoot for the top. I mean, that's just the, that's the goal. You know, as as much wrestling, it's, it's why I tell these guys, it's it may, well, it's fair or not. You're judged by one tournament. That's the NCAA tournament. As an individual, as a team, you're you're you're, you're judged by one tournament. That's the NCAA tournament. So our our goal is that NCAA tournament. Okay, something. One, two, three, two.